If you want to change QGIS to night mode, so a dark user interface, you can do that really easily. You can also change the icon size. So let's take a look. To do that, you'll go to the settings menu and then options. So that's where you're gonna find the ability to change these things. Settings, then options. From there, you want to make sure you're in general. It probably will be, but make sure you're in the general section. And then in the application section, which you may have to expand, there's style, UI theme, icon size, and some other stuff. So in style, I keep that as fusion, but you'll see other options there. UI theme, I have just changed that to night mapping from default, but it doesn't change until I restart QGIS. So if I go to night mapping, once I click OK, I'll have to restart QGIS. I've got my icon size at 48, but you can reduce it to whatever you want or you can increase it. It depends on number of things, your screen size, your resolution and so on. But I use 48. You can change the font size, but I'm going to keep mine at 12. And there's other things you can do here, which I often untick the boxes for the splash screen at startup or the news feed. So there's options there, but the main things we're looking at here are icon size and UI theme. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause the video and you'll see QGIS restarted in night mode in a second. So I've opened the same project again and now we have night mode. One little difference you'll notice is in the default view, we have little tick boxes or little check boxes to turn layers on and off. In night mode or night mapping mode, also known as dark mode, there's eyes, but they do the same thing. So if I go to the eye up here and hide all layers, if I want to turn on one particular layer, I'll see an eye rather than a checkbox. Let me just turn on all layers. There we go. Let's go back into settings and options and take a look at one of the other modes. So the UI theme is night mapping. I usually use default, but let's go to blend of gray. And what I'll do is I'll click OK and then I'll pause the video and I'll open it up again and we'll see what blend of gray looks like. And now we have blend of gray, whereas when we had night mapping, we had the little eye icons to turn layers on and off. Now we've got the check boxes again, just like for the default theme. I don't use this mode or night mapping. I use the default, but this is what you see when you use blend of gray. And again, it's via settings and options. And it's worth taking a little bit of time just to explore the different things you can alter in here. Things like the locale. So I'm in Great Britain, so I use English and that particular locale helps me get the right format for numbers and dates and so on. So that's where you can change the way it appears. I'm going to switch back now one last time to the default mode. I'll click OK. I'll open it up again and we'll go back to how it was. Here we are back at the start in settings and options. And then the general section under application, we see the UI theme and it's back to default. So that's how you can easily change the appearance of the QGIS interface to suit whatever you would like to see.